Hello and welcome to our very first tutorial of Drop in Snow. Today we're going to be talking about our very first steps, how to carry skis, how to put skis on, how to balance on skis. So to carry skis, the first thing we need to learn is how to place the skis together. We place them together like you can see here in the images with one brake sitting above the other skis brake. So once you have the skis together, they're going to be much easier to move around and manage. So now you grab the skis and you place the skis onto your shoulder, making sure that the binding sits behind your shoulder, as you can see here. And then make sure that you put your hand well in front of the ski on the tips and you counterweight with a hand downwards, otherwise your ski could fall backwards. So now we put the skis on. So the first thing is to clean the snow off the bindings, but even more important is to clean the snow off the sole of your boot. You do this by scraping against the binding on a backward movement. Make sure it's backward. This way the ski won't move because the brake is in the snow, preventing it to move backwards. So make sure that the movement is from the heel to the toes and using the front part of the binding, the toe piece of the binding. Now that the boot is nice and clean, we align the toe piece of the boot with the toe piece of the binding. We look back, we align the heel with the heel piece of the binding, we step down hard. So it's important to know that the ski is a little bit longer in the front than it is at the back. And this is no coincidence. The ski is designed for you to lean forward, the ski and the boot. The boot has a slight tilt forward, making you having to lean forward when you put your boots and your skis on. It's almost as if you were leaning on something solid and it's preventing you from falling forward. So put your feet at the width of your waist, more or less. Then make sure that you bend all three main articulations, which is your ankle, your knees, and your waist. This will give you much more balance and freedom of movement. A simple exercise of jumping up and down a few times will help you to get into this position. So let's talk about leaning forward or leaning backward. So in general, you've probably heard that you need to lean forward, but there is one thing that you need to understand, and it's not really that you're leaning forward, is that you're balancing on top of your skis. So standing on a natural position, if you locate your center of mass, which is more or less where your belly button is, you will see that it's located slightly in front of your feet. So that means that if you were to lean forward, your center of mass also moves forward. And if you were to lean backwards, your center of mass would move backwards. So when we say that you need to lean forward, actually what we're saying is that you need to stand square on your feet but it's a little bit of the sensation of leaning forward. 